Ricky Simone and Ray Bork. Boy, I don't know what's going on out there in Florida. I really don't, and I'm happy that we have it. I really don't like to be the guy that, that cr criticizes an official. I don't think I've ever been that guy. And I don't want to be that guy now, it, but it has been very hard to watch uh, what's going on in Florida with the judging and not come back and at least scratch your head. And if you go look at the Olenek and Verdum fight, that could not have been any clearer two rounds to one for Olenek. You go look at the, uh, the Watterson fight, it was very clear who won the fight, but one judge gave Watterson a 30-27. She lost the fight. The two other judges give it to her opponent. They give her a 30-27. I mean, it was just baffling. We go, what are you guys watching? Then you come to Ricky Simone and Ray Borg. Incredible contest. Ricky Simone is one of the best fighters. He's my teammate, in full disclosure. One of the best fighters I've ever seen. I mean, he's a really talented guy, and I get to see things that you guys don't see. I get to see him in the gym. I get to see the way he trains. I get to see the fact that he never backs down, never, never misses practice, never takes a round off of me. The guy just does everything right. He's never late. He never leaves early. But he's also wildly talented. He's a fantastic kickboxer. But wrestling is his bread and butter. Then you look at his submissions. He's fantastic on the ground. He knows how to pass guard. He knows how to submit people. He can protect himself at all times. Go see his, his fight with uh, Hanayaya. And he wasn't even close to getting submitted by one of the best grapplers to ever do the sport. Just by example, I mean, a very talented guy. So he comes out tonight. He's a little more explosive. He's got a little more pep in his step. He's got a little bit more power than I've seen before. He's growing. He's getting better. But Ray Borg is a straight-up killer. I mean, Ray Borg's great. He fought Demetrius for a world championship. Ray Borg knows what he's doing. He's also moved up a weight class, which I think is helpful to Ray Borg. I think 135 fits him a lot better than 125 does. I think he was cutting a little bit too much weight, didn't quite have energy. I thought they both looked really great tonight. But if you watch that fight, I had it 30-27 Ricky. All three rounds to Ricky. In absolutely no scenario does he lose more than a round. Which is exactly what two of the three judges thought. One judge had it 30-27 Ray Bork. That's outrageous. That is absolutely ludicrous. It would take you back to Pettis and Cerrone, where Pettis does not believe he won the fight and was awarded the fight. If a principal in the fight, the guy who's being awarded says, I didn't win that fight, then he didn't win the fight. That would never happen. Nobody would ever say that just to be nice. You would only say that if you knew that you did not win the fight. Oh, and by the way, you had a level of sportsmanship and class and dignity to yourself. I mean, most times you wouldn't even say it then. You would just take it and move on down the road. And there'd be nothing wrong with that. But in the rare occurrence where that does happen, it's evidence that something else happened with the scoring. 30-27 Ray Borg, when, it doesn't matter that Chael doesn't agree with you. Your two licensed cohorts don't agree with you. They agreed with each other, which is what the rest of the world saw, which was the fighters saw. 29-28, which is how they scored it. It was confusing. I was a little bit confused by that.